An unpopular police officer thinks about committing a racially motivated offense for a little support. A middle-aged man is having the best snacks of his life, and a housefly drops everything to go stand on a watermelon slice. Scouring the earth for the finest ingredients to include in this handcrafted small batch news summary, this is The Onion Week in Review. A new report released this week by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency found that the earth is down to its last cubic meter of resources. The report's analysis revealed that as a result of unregulated extraction operations and stunted efforts to curtail such practices, the planet's dwindling supply of available lumber, fresh water, fossil fuels, and other harvested materials is now withered down to a small box, with experts saying, that the minuscule quantity should be able to last us another hour or so. Noting the Youth Center's ping-pong table and array of DVDs and Blu-rays, local youth minister Mark Kindler told reporters this week that his church's new rec room has everything a teen could want. The youth pastor revealed that the basement facility's many teen-friendly amenities include a new Wii U console, an iPod dock for the teens to play any music they like, and some comfortable recliners for those who just want to relax or do their homework after school. We've really gone out of our way to give the rec room a laid-back atmosphere. It's stocked with snacks, but sometimes at the end of the week we'll spring for some pizza. Honestly, I wish I had a place like this when I was their age. A report released this week by the Bureau of Labor Statistics found that financial concerns are prompting a growing number of Americans to delay retirement until the very last seconds of their lives. The report's findings indicated that many middle-class retirees were choosing to spend their last few breaths on Earth having a conversation with a loved one or finishing a crossword, while others are opting to lead active retired lives that last an entire afternoon, often supplementing their income during their final moments with part-time jobs. And in this week's sports news, Condoleezza Rice spends the first 15 minutes of a college football committee meeting asking what the fuck she is doing there. In other news, increased violence leads the State Department to issue an advisory for Americans traveling to 1861. An eclipse comes just in time to save John Kerry from a tribe of island cannibals. And an elderly lobbyist is always droning on about how little legislation used to cost in his day. Having finished this week's summary, I will now fall into a dreamless state of unconsciousness for the next six days until I'm needed again. For more, keep checking theonion.com.